Hi, in this video, I would like to give a quick introduction about how you can use the Commerce Booster Figma UI components and generate React components using AWS Amplify. And let's get started. So before that, let's see what Commerce Booster is about. It's an open source user interface template for B2B e-commerce. And you can see here some of the templates and B2B sales user experience. It has some good user experience components, so you don't have to work on or uh, reinvent the wheel, so you can already use these templates and you can implement them in your React, View, or Angular frameworks. And in this example, I'm gonna show how you can get the React components. So it also says it's optimized for commerce tools and you can do some advanced filtering and dedicated for B2B features. So let's get started. Uh, so I've chosen, um, I've navigated to the, the Commerce Booster open source B2B UI template um, community file here. And I've already duplicated this and this is how it looks like. So let's get C, uh, this is a Figma component and you can see some of the authors, those are involved in the development of the Commerce Booster. So I'm interested in the components. And for this demonstration, I'm gonna use the hero banner. So I'm gonna see how you can generate a React component for this hero banner component. Uh, just to show you quickly, there are some possibilities. Um, uh, if you could see some of those, um, let's see. I'm just gonna make this smaller. So you can see here, you've got a bunch of components you can ready to use. And what did I do? I just made, I made import of these components. Whatever you see here, I've imported all these components into my Amplify Studio. I can sync uh, with my Figma. And if you're not for the first time, you could see here, you can sync already. And let's see some of them uh, just to see, just to get an idea what these are. And I don't know what I can use. Uh, maybe I can show you some icons, maybe. Uh, some alert. Okay, that looks like some issues. But let me show you at least the one which is working, the hero banner. You see here the hero banner. You could see the preview, uh, what it looks like and what it contains. You could see here the hero banner, which is here. And you can configure, you can take this to configure and you can add what properties these uh, you could select here. You could see here, you can select those components, uh, what properties you can define. You see here, I've defined a model. Let's take a look at what the model is. And for that, I've defined a hero banner model a content model and I've given some, what's the title, what's the description, what's the image and button text. And I'm gonna use these values uh, in populating a data. Uh, so I'm assigned this data model and you could see here a content, I have some dynamic content here. And you can see here those values are dynamic and I can also auto generate data. And I wanna generate one more just for demonstration. Uh, I can also add constraints, uh, but I can remove this constraint and generate data. Um, you could see here, it's generated some random content and I could also change this value and I can add some real value here, but that should be it. And I have a data here for my defined hero banner model. I can use this model in my UI library to define the properties, what properties are mapped to what. So let's take a look again, the UI library. I go to my component, which is a hero banner, which is my hero banner, which should be is this one. Let's say it's this the one. You're gonna see here, this is a banner. And with this banner, I can control 
what the values are should be coming from. So I can configure this. And as you can see here, the label of this title is picked from hero banner title. And a description is hero banner description, the label. And the label for button is picked from the button text. And the image source is picked from the hero banner image. So I'm going to use these property bindings in my code so I can get my component code. Now I'm going to show you how it looks. Um, and this is my demo example, which is running locally. And I'm going to show you the code here. This is the code here, the hero banner component. I have imported. And whenever you run the code, get a code component. So you can get your code and run the commands and you get the code for your hero banner component. It's a React component. And you could see here the hero banner component is generated code. And I'm passing some static value here. I'm passing some static value for hero banner and hero banner values are taken. It's a title, description, button text, and image. This is the same thing I defined here. And as you can see here, this is what I defined, the hero banner. The property name is hero banner, hero banner model. And those values are taken, a title, description, and button, and image source. And that's what you're going to see here, like see more demo. This is what you see here. And I could change this value. And you see here immediately it's reflecting. And let's try to add this. Let's try to add this, some of those text information. Uh, this is an image, this is a description. Let's try to grab this, uh, close. I'm gonna copy this text information. I'm gonna make this copy. I'm gonna add it to this description. Just to see that uh, unused markers. So just to see it's, you see here it's, reflecting and also let's try to copy the copy the text information as well and we're going to replace this with a title and you see here it's the same thing we can see as what you can see here ideally ideally you want to have your this data coming from your api it could be from your commerce tools api uh, where you have to call or write SDK um, and get the API values and assign it to your components. And you should be able to get your code working. And you can see here, I added an image here and the same image is used. And with this, now you can see here, I've used a commerce booster component, which is in Figma and generated a React component here using Amplify Studio. As you can see here, Amplify Studio generated a React component. I didn't create this component, but I created using uh, Amplify, AWS Amplify Studio. And all I have to was import this component and attach a data. And with this, it's really handy. And you can also sync your design Whenever you have an update to your Figma, you can sync and you can just go to your component and generate, make some uh, configurations and get code and you can pull latest changes and your components will be automatically updated. And I have also pushed this project. Um, so if you want to take a look, uh, take a look here. Uh, so you can able to get your hero banner component up and running. Uh, which is a React component generated using AWS Amplify. So yeah, I, I hope it gives you some insights about how to get Figma components and get your um, React components and prepare for uh, data binding uh, to attach some dynamic data from your API. Uh, thank you, thank you for watching.